There's a lot of information for you to look up on the internet. A whole lot. I was introduced to Chadwick Boseman by the movie 42, where he played Jackie Robinson. At least that's my immediate memory of him. It might have been something else, but I'm pretty sure it was 42. And he delivered a great performance in that movie. Absolutely great. This man's ability to act was something else. His, his ability to inspire was on another level. That's not easy to do. It takes a certain kind of person to do that. To really reach, to reach out. And touch the heart and souls of others. You can't be on no bullshit like how a lot of humans are in 2020. You got to be genuine. And you got to just have that gift within you. While everyone can do their part to make the lives of others better. It does take a certain person that has a gift to do what Chadwick Boseman was able to do. On all the different levels. In fiction and reality alike. Never missing a beat. The cancer didn't slow him down at all. It eventually got to him, but man. That's, that's some willpower. If he were in the DC universe. He'd be perfectly suited to be a Green Lantern. Because they're all about willpower. And Chadwick Boseman had that for days. Had it for days. Easy. So do yourself a favor and look into this man. Learn about him. If all you know about him is Black Panther, I'm telling you, you don't know anything. You're missing out. And even if you're not a fan of this man or the Black Panther movie, still spend five, ten minutes just looking to him. I assure you that by the time you're done doing your research, you will be a fan of Chadwick Boseman. Or at the very least, you will respect this man. You will respect him. I have to do what I can as his fan to keep this man alive. Which means when the time comes to speak about him, I speak about him in great depth. And I let humans know how I feel about this man and what he was able to accomplish. I feel like that's my job as a fan. I never met Chadwick Boseman. I never had the honor or the pleasure to do that. It's a damn shame, but the man is gone. It would have been an honor to shake his hand. So anyways, human, I appreciate you being here. This is the second part for this particular topic, sometimes in life you got to make a couple of videos. And if you are just only planning on listening to this one, that's okay. Understand that the first part of this video is more the same. I'm just speaking on this man and his greatness and the impact he left on the world. But I want to thank you for being here. You can join this family. The Terrence family by subscribing, you know, we could be like, you bum bang. You know, we could do that together. Wakanda forever. We can keep doing that to the end of time. Because, man, when you say that shit and you got an army of motherfuckers with you, oh, man, it just sounds so great. It just sounds so great. Powerful. You know that something's coming. You know it. When Chadwick Boseman said that for the first time, when you fucking walked out that portal and shit in Endgame, I was like, yeah, shit's going down. Somebody's about to get their ass whooped. But yeah, you know, rest in peace, Chadwick, man. I I'm not going to forget you. Terrence out.